What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to import our data for our convolutional neural networks with PyTorch and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to import our data for our CNN. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. It's all my courses, videos, and books for one-time fee, which is insanely cheap. All right, we've been talking about this for the last several videos, and now it's time to actually dive in and start building out our convolutional neural network. So I've got a Google Colab opened. I'm calling it CNN, short for convolutional neural network. And in this video, we're going to import the MNIST data. Remember, the MNIST data set is the data set of images that we're going to be using. So if we wanted to Google this real quick, we could take a quick look here. We go MNIST, and really any of these things will work. Click on the TensorFlow one. And remember, it's these tiny little 28 by 28 images in black and white of just digits. So this is the four. It's, it looks like a four. This is the number one. It looks like a one. This is a zero. It looks like zero. So these are the images we're going to use to train and test our CNN. And we need to get these into our Google Colab. And that's what we're going to do in this video. But before we do that, we need to import a bunch of things. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this PyTorch CNN series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So uh, the first thing we need, obviously, is Torch. We're using PyTorch here. So let's just import Torch. We also want to import torch.nn. We're going to be using a neural network for this as NN. And I know that might be shocking. This is a convolutional neural network, not just a neural network. Yeah, we're still using neural network stuff inside there. So there you go. We also need to import torch.nn.functional as, let's just call this as F. And we'll get into all this stuff later on as we start to use it. For now, we're just going to import it all and we'll talk about it all later. So what else do we need? We need from torch.utils, from the utilities, dot data. We want to import the data loader. So allow us to load our data, obviously. And then from torch vision, hey, we want to import data sets and also transforms. We'll look at both of these in this video. And data sets contains the MNIST data set that we're going to be using. So it's going to be really easy to import this into our Google Colab. All right. So then we also need from torch vision again, dot utils. We want to import make underscore grid. So those are the main sort of neural networky type of things we're going to need. We're also going to need just some good old fashioned machine learning stuff. So let's go import NumPy as NP. And check my channel. I've got a whole playlist on NumPy. If you're not familiar with NumPy, there's like, I don't know, 10 or 15 videos on NumPy in that playlist. So check that out. We also want to import pandas as PD. Likewise, I've got a whole playlist on pandas. So you can check that out if you're interested. Misspelled import. There we go. We also from sklearn.metrics, we want to import confusion underscore matrix. And in, I think in the pandas playlist, we get into scikit-learn a little bit. So you can check that out if you're interested in that as well. We also want to import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. And we've used this a lot in the past in our pandas playlist and maybe in the numpy playlist as well. Matplotlib just allows us to make graphs and charts in uh, Google Colab. But in order to do that, we need to add this little line that is mat plot lib in line with the little percentage sign in front of it. So, all right, let's shift enter to run all these and this will come through here and boom, boom, import them all. We don't have to pip install any of these things. They're already pip installed into Google Colab. So we just need to import them. And depending on your connection and whatnot, you can see it's gone fairly quickly here and importing each of these things. And then we're good to go there. So next, before we actually import the data, we need to transform it. And this MNIST data set, if we pull this back up again real quick, these are two dimensional pictures, but we need to be working in four dimensions. We need a tensor of four dimensions in order to do all the things we want to do. Well, why is that? Well, these are just 2D images, but we also need to keep track of the number of images that there are. We need to keep track of the height. We need to keep track of the width and we need to keep track of the color channel. So that's, you know, four dimensions. And this is perfect for a tensor. So we're going to actually convert these images into a tensor. So 
Let's go convert MNIST image files into a tensor of four dimensions. I think that's not how you spell dimensions. <laughs> All right, there we go. And again, this is just going to be the number of images, the, uh, let's say, height, the width, and the color channel. In order to do that, we use this transform that we just imported, let's see, right here, this transforms. So I'm going to create a variable, I'm going to call it transform, because that's what we're doing. We're transforming our images into a tensor. And to do that, we just call transforms which is again, this thing right up here that we imported. And then we want to convert this to a tensor. So we call the to tensor function. So shift enter to run this, that should go very quickly and we're good to go. So now we need to set up our training data and our testing data. And we're actually gonna pull in the MNIST data set files to do that. First, let's train our data. So to do that, I'm gonna create a variable called train underscore data. And this is going to be data sets dot MNIST. Now this data sets right here, we imported right here. And inside of this data sets library, there are lots of different data sets and the MNIST data set is one of them. So we can use the MNIST data set just by referencing this, but we want to kind of save this locally in our Google Colab. So to do that, we'll set the root equal to, and here you just want to save it to some directory. So I'm going to call this, um, I don't know, let's just call it CNN data. This is a convolutional neural network, right? So that'll save that. Now, this is our training data. So we wanna set train equal to true. And this is just a Boolean. You can see there's all these things popping up. You can read all this if you're interested. Uh, but train equals true. We also want to download equals true because we wanna download this MNIST data to our local you know, Google Colab here. We're gonna save it obviously right here. And let's stick a forward slash on there just for good measure. All right, so download equals true. Finally, we need to transform this stuff. So let's set transform equal to transform. Now this transform variable right here, the second transform right here, that's just this guy right here we just created right here. Okay, so that looks good. Let me kind of pop this down a little so you can see it all in one line. Okay, so let's shift enter to run this. And if it's the first time doing this, it's gonna actually download all this stuff. And you can see it's saving it into our CNN data directory. And there's all kinds of stuff it's downloading. And that looks good. So now we've got our train data. We also need our test data. So we always want to train and test. So let's come down here and let's go test data. And I'm just going to paste in this line that we just created and I'm going to rename it test data. And then here train, we want this to be false because we're not training this. This is our test data. It's not our train data. So uh, everything else stays the same transform equals transform. So, okay, let's go ahead and shift enter to run this. And it's not downloading at this time because it's already downloaded it once. So we can make sure this worked we can call our train underscore data, shift enter to run this. And we see there are 60,000 of these images, which is what we expect. If we come back here to the MNIST data set, uh, yep, sure enough, there are 60,000 training data sets and test is 10,000 in this data set. So let's come down here and make sure, let's run our test data here, shift enter to run this. And sure enough, uh, there's 10,000. You can see it's located in slash CNN data. If we come down here and hit PWD. This will show us what directory we're in. If we type the ls command to list the stuff in this directory, we see there's a sample data directory. I think this is from some other project I was working on long ago. You'll notice there is no CNN data. That's because it actually saves it to one directory behind there. So we can change into that directory by calling the cd dot dot forward slash command. Now, if we PWD, we see we're in this slash directory. If we ls, we see there is our CNN data. And if we CD change directory into our CNN underscore data directory, shift enter to run this, and then we LS that directory, we can see there's that MNIST directory that um, if we looked up here, it created when this all downloaded. So 
you don't need to know any of this. It's just sort of interesting. So let's cd backslash to go back a directory. And then where are we here? We want to be in our content directory. So let's cd back into our content directory. All right, pwd. Yep, we're in content, which is if we looked way back here where we started. So we're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these. We don't really need any of this stuff. This was just kind of interesting to see where the stuff gets saved, just in case we're, you know, we ever need to know that. And we're good to go. So that's pretty much all there is to it. We have set up our convolutional neural network. We've imported all the things that we're going to need. We have created a transform to change the images from images to a tensor, which will allow us to do all the, you know, machine learning, deep learning, convolutional neural network stuff on it. We've set up our training data and downloaded and sort of installed the MNIST data set. We've saved it into this directory. We've set up our test data, same thing. We set it into the CNN underscore data directory and uh, we're good to go. So that's all for this video. If you liked, be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out Konami.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, almost 60 courses, thousands of videos and the PDFs of all my best-selling Konami books. Join over 180,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.